Dear members of parliament, I, Aditya H. V., President of the Privacy Matters Citizens' Rights Group, would like to thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Before I present the facts, I would like you to humor me and imagine the following situation. You are at home with your spouse and two children having dinner. Someone sneaks in without your knowledge and records your conversation. He then goes to your room and rummages through all your documents, all your bank accounts, all your email and social media accounts, all your private letters. He then takes copies so that he has access to them anytime he wants. He knows pretty much everything about you, your spouse and your children. How would you feel? Violated. As a citizen of this great country, I have always been proud that my privacy is my right and without a search warrant or a probable cause, the government does not have the right to invade my privacy. The reports of surface last week are shocking. We have found out, and much of this has been verified, that the intelligence agency of our country has the access to the private records of 20 million innocent citizens. Their motivations may have been noble. They claim that they were authorized to conduct mass surveillance after the terrorist attack that rocked our country last month. However, this is totally an overreach of power. Just because the intelligence agency is on the trail of terrorists does not mean that they get the automatic right to invade the privacy of millions of innocent citizens. We must put them, today their motivation may have been just, but tomorrow this information may well be misused. We must put an end to this immediately. We are a democracy and we must respect our democratic rights. And privacy ranks way up there along with many other rights. The law enforcement and the intelligence agency must not be allowed to encroach on our privacy without a search warrant. There are also many other projects on mass surveillance such as the DRDO Netra and the Central Monitoring System that are being provided or funded by the government and threaten our privacy. I urge respected members of parliament to put strict laws against authorizing mass surveillance of our citizens. Thank you.